Hello everyone and welcome to the Whippy Public Library's Giant Science Program. My name is Rachel and today I'll be doing all the fun experiments with you. So today we're actually going to be doing two experiments. We're going to be doing two because they're both very simple and very easy experiments that are tons of fun. So for the two experiments are thundercloud in a jar and floating water. For floating water, all you need is a deep bowl, a clear or mostly clear cup, some food coloring, and some water. And for thundercloud in a jar, all you need is a jar, preferably clear, but if it's colored, that will still work, water, food coloring, and some foaming shaving cream. So, First, to get started, we're going to start with our floating water experiment. So we're gonna take a big jug of water and we're going to pour it into this bowl. And we're gonna fill this bowl right up to the top with water. Now it's all full. I'm gonna take some food coloring and I'm gonna use green and I'm gonna drop the food coloring in, spin it all around so the water is colored. Maybe just one more drop. We're coloring the water just so we can see it really clearly in our colored glass. All right, once that is done, the next part begins. I'm gonna move you a little closer so you can see this one up close. Okay, now our water is all green and ready to go. What we're going to do is we're gonna take our cup, we're going to submerge it in the water sideways. Submerge just means put the entire cup into the water. You'll see some air bubbles pop out as we put it in. Now I'm gonna try and flip the cup over and lift it. Now what do you think will happen? Do you think all the water is gonna fall out? Let's see, so I turn it sideways, upside down, and it's lifted. Now if you look, you can see the water still in the cup. It's still green in there. And I'm going to start lifting, 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 lifting. And look, all the water is staying in the cup. Now, why is this happening? The water is able to stay inside the glass, even if it's being lifted up because of air pressure, pushing it down on the water surface. It forces the water up into the glass. Now, as we gradually lift the glass above the surface of the water, what do we think is gonna happen? Wah! We lose that pressure that was keeping the water suspended up in the glass and then gravity takes over and all the water falls out. Now this experiment is super fun to do over and over. So you can keep trying it. Try it with different colors and different sized containers and see just how close you can get it before before the surface tension breaks, and here we are. I love this experiment because it's super fun and super easy to do. All right, let's move on to the next experiment. All right, so next we're gonna do our thunderstorm in a jar experiment. So for this one, you're gonna need a jar, of course. It's better if your jar is clear but I only have a colored one, so I'm just working with that. First, we're gonna fill our jar with water, clear water, all the way to the top of the jar. Once that's done, we're going to use our shaving cream. Now the water in here actually represents the sky, and our shaving cream is gonna be our clouds. So we're gonna shake up our shaving cream, and we're gonna Spray it on the water. Ooh. <laughs> All right, that was a little bit more exciting than I was expecting. Next, after we have our 
clouds and our sky. We're going to take some food coloring. I'm going to do blue and the food coloring is going to represent our rain. Now as rain collects in clouds, clouds are just made of water vapor. They're a gas, but rain's a liquid, which means it's heavier than a gas. So as rain collects, it starts to be weighed down by gravity. It starts to make its way through the clouds and then slowly as it gets to the other side, it's released from the clouds and that's when it rains down back on the earth. Now we're gonna drop our food coloring onto our clouds and slowly they're gonna make their way through all the way down and into our cup. I'm just gonna put a little bit more in, move some of mine, because I think I put a bit too much shaving cream in, and put some more food coloring. Now, you see as it's making its way down slowly, they've made their way through the clouds and they're floating all the way down. Now you should probably do your shaving cream thin. A nice thin layer will let it break down into it faster. My clouds are very thick, so it took a while for the color to get in. And that's how the rain clouds release the water and it rains down once they get heavier and heavier with rain. Cool, right? You can use all different colors, different jars, Try different levels of shaving cream and watch as the rain is released down into the jar. Okay, I decided I wanna do this one again. So I'm gonna fill up my jar with water just like before. And this time I'm gonna use red food coloring. And this time I'm gonna try less shaving cream and we'll see what happens. So we put the shaving cream in, it blows up, and I'm gonna smooth it down a little bit, just like so. All right, now it's all nice and smooth. I'm gonna try with my red food coloring, and let's see what happens. So I've got my thin layer of shaving cream Let's start dropping in some more food coloring. Ooh, see right away when you have a thin cloud, your rain comes down really quickly. The heavier and bigger your cloud is, the longer it will take for the rain to get into it. And see how it dropped down really quickly? Now that was cool. That's what I love about these experiments. We try all different things to see what works, but they're all fun. All right. And just like that, we are done. We kept it super simple this week, but our experiments were still tons and tons of fun. So if you would like, please go to whippylibrary.ca and you can check out all the other online content we have. You can visit us on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. We are everywhere and you can find lots of super fun digital programming. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.